全く風景が違うなオートとあ,あうん違うね野獣も死骸もいるし危ねえ場所だらけってのが本来の状態なんだよな障壁やクリスタルがないとこうなんだねそれだけじゃない陛下のお力もな分かってはいたが偉大だノクトお前も頑張れよやれるだけな What's up, guys? Seven Shogun's here, back with some more FF15 Judgment Disc demo.、Um, the, the 15 hype train is still going, <laughs> still running strong.、Um, I think we're gonna change our clothes here, actually, just to kind of mix things up.、Um, yeah, a lot of these clothes don't really do a whole lot of stat things. The only one that really changes your stats is when you take the jacket off. This, like, this、uh, jacket off version. So you like lose health, but you gain、uh, plus attack and plus. I think that's like some kind of sword strength.、Um, but these, like, sub. These are these, like, these are alternate ones don't really do anything to your stats. So、um, I guess it's just like fashion souls, basically. <laughs> you know, it just this looks cool. So we're gonna put that on. We'll do that for each of them. Oops, that's not it. Um, I kind of like. I kind of like his jacket one. Yeah, his like bomber jacket. Is that a bomber jacket? I don't know. It is now.、Um, <laughs> yeah, I definitely like this one more. That's pretty cool. And that fits his personality more. And then Prompto. Jacket is pretty cool, but I think we're gonna go with no jacket just cause I kind of. So, like, him and Noctis are kinda. Not yet, you know, he's not, Noctis is the only one not wearing a jacket. Or, I guess. He isn't just really wearing a jacket, though. He's kinda just wearing, like, a dress shirt. So. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Screw it. Uh. <clears throat> okay, so. Oops. That's not what we wanted to do. Objectives. Okay, so we want to go back to there. I think there should be an option to press. If you press R3, it takes you back to the car. I just don't remember which one that is. Nope.、Uh, okay. I think the first one's back to camp. I think this one. Okay, that's just like options. I'm gonna say it's the second one. Yes. I think this one takes you back to your car. I think that might be, I might be mistaken about that. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Yep, I was right. Alright, cool. So that way you never really, that way you don't really lose your car. You always kind of have it. So that's pretty cool. Um. Ixo? You go. Cool. So we'll, we'll drive back manually and then we'll let Ignis take over when we head to next destination. Yeah, so much of the driving in this game is just so automated. It's just everything for you. Which,、uh, I guess, isn't entirely a bad thing. Although, I, I feel like if you, you know, are used to open world games and having that kind of sandbox here where you can do anything whenever you wanted to, it does feel kind of like jarring, but. This is a very cinematic game, so I don't, I don't really mind it. It kind of fits what the game is trying to do, you know? For habitat destruction. Cool. Alright, this last one, I'm not sure if we can do it yet. Yeah, it's still grayed out. 
Um, I haven't quite figured out why. I think it might have to do with the fact that either we're too low level, which I don't think would be why would be grayed out. I think it probably has to do with the fact that we don't meet the right uh, monster hunt rank yet. We're still rank one. That's that's probably why. Um, but yeah, it's grayed out, so we can't click it. Yeah, see, must be rank two. So that's why. Cool. So yeah, let's just uh, let's go to our other quest we got to do. And this time we'll let Ignis drive, drive us. Plus, we got on the radio. So it's kind of cool. Uh, Ignis would drive and stuff for you. Now, I feel like in this demo, right now, there should be like a lot more dialogue than what we're actually getting. Um, so that kind of makes this experience more interesting because you're kind of getting more information on the story or dialogue from the characters, getting more character interaction. But I'm guessing because the dem it's just a demo, a lot of that stuff is cut out because they're not saying anything. <laughs> and, uh, well, I guess Prompto's saying something right now. I'm not sure what he's saying because there's no words coming out um but uh yeah if it's kind of like this where you're just kind of cruising it can get pretty boring you know what i mean especially if you're going a pretty far distance so i'm kind of curious like i feel like the way the game is set up they don't really want you to drive that much because oh <laughs> all right that's never happened before the world actually had to load for a second there. That's kind of that's kind of scary, actually. All right. And Gladio just vanished from his car, or from his seat. What the heck? But like, where did he go though? Why is he over there? <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Oh,ありがとう。荷物を届けてくれたか。後でうちのが運ぶから、車はそのままでいいよ。We just dropped off that package for uh, Cindy. お、お、アンブラ。届け物か。ご苦労様。よくここが分かったな。有能な伝達役だからな。いつもどうやって来てんの。ちょっと待ってな。now this confuses me, right? Um, they have this book that they uh, put things into for each other, right? Like little notes. They kind of pass back and forth. And then Umbra, I guess, carries the notebook to one another back and back and forth. But I mean, so does the dog just find them? Like, like it just is there? How does that work? How does it not get lost? Plus, it's just a dog, right? So, how does it stay safe from all the monsters out there? I don't know. I, I, there's just a lot of there's a lot of questions I have. Uh, let's go with this first one. Although there's a lot of theories that Umbra and and I think it's Prina, um, really aren't just dogs. They're probably some kind of something, some kind <laughs> of special <laughs> being or something like that. So. Cool. Um, so... Chicken? What's this? Great. 
Wish I knew what it said. Um, we can go check out over here, because this is another diner with more information. And actually, if you go right here, you can take a quick little picture. More for a Prompto's uh, album. Nice. Uh, again, not sure what that does for you, but there you go. Um, this lady right here will sell potions and stuff. Recipes for you to eat. Um, and will sell soundtracks for your car. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna buy those. Those are more, those are more important, obviously. Although, I think the two-tone is actually, like, the color for your car. This one is the actual... FF2 soundtrack for your car, so. But still cool. Domo des! Uh, crab. Um, just, just as Monsters 5 is in here. I have no idea how to play this. Like, I don't understand how it works. So I'm not gonna really try it right now. I'll try it. In the full game. <laughs> I'm sure that was hilarious, but it's in Japanese. See, so I always get information so you know where all the stuff is at. Um, we can buy food if we really want to, but I think we're okay. And there's more mob pumps for us to do, of course. Um, so this one right here with these goblins is only can only be done at night. So we're gonna actually do this level eight one first, even though it's higher level, just because we, we can do it now during the day. And uh, we'll do it right now while we're before we move on to our next objective. It's not too far from here either, but hopefully the car will take us there. I'm hoping. Although we can't drive manually anymore. Now, I don't know why that happens. Like, why is it I can't drive manually? It won't it won't it won't let me drive manually anymore, so I I have to let Ignis drive. Also won't let me drive to uh, the place either, so let's just walk there. I guess. <laughs> I mean I can't drive there. Okay, so I think this is the rock that people are thinking is the Adamantoys. I know Novum specifically said that. Uh, and I mean, if you look at it, it's different color from everything else, so I kind of tend to believe it actually. Um, yep, but, uh, although I think that a certain show host actually may have spoiled <laughs> the Metamantoys fight, the Adamantoys fight already, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Conan O'Brien actually uh, showed the Adamantoys fight um, itself, so 
that kind of probably already answers the question whether or not this is Adamantois. I haven't really watched that video. I've been trying not to spoil myself, so I don't know. <laughs> so I want to try and stay not spoiled. So if you know, please don't spoil me. Although it's YouTube and it's the internet, so you know, anything can happen, right? たおせそうか。こんくらいなら。油断してると足元を救われるぞ。やってやるか。やっ。ああ。ああ。What? Why would you attack the one by itself? Are you are you serious? Oh, come on. Alright, I was definitely blocking that time. I was, hold, I was holding it down. Like that, like I was holding it down. Like, what the hell? Alright, let's just try this. something here. Really? I feel like I was more on the side of that one though. You know what I mean? Alright, last one looks like. Uh. <laughs> like, I feel like I can't get, I can't get next to it, really. I mean, it was already dead, buddy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of hard to, to gauge when I'm supposed to get next to things and when I'm not supposed to get next to things, because... You know, it's like, oh, okay, I'll just back off, but then, okay, they don't attack me, so I go in and I just get knocked, knocked back. <laughs> so it's like, what am I supposed to do? Um, okay. Oops, no. No, that's not it. Okay, there's also a chest over here, so let's go look at that, and then we'll try and swoop back and get this one, and then make our way back to the, uh, to the place. So if we go around, 
Give me a little bit faster. Ah, I forgot to do the infinite run there. Okay, here we go. Let's try it. So, what that? Let's wait for uh, not just to look up. Like that, and then just press press L3 again, just like that. And there you go. Uh, you don't keep much dinner. Getting the hang of it. I feel like I'm still converting because I literally just played the Platinum demo and uh, some of the buttons are a little bit different. They're like kind of swapped, so I'm still getting used to pressing the right buttons versus pressing the wrong buttons, so. But. But. Actually, the infinite run is actually pretty forgiving. You don't have to, like, press it right as like you don't have to like have perfect timing to do it you just kind of have to press it oh what the heck <laughs> where'd you come from <laughs> <laughs> seriously they just they just spawn they just come out of nowhere <laughs> you know what i mean like it's so random Alright, more, uh, more high potions. Hmm. Oops, no. It's one more right over here. So let's go check out that one. Oh, I missed it. See, so you don't want to be too late because then otherwise he'll get tired. I feel like it's almost better when that happens to just actually just stop running and let him go through his little, like, you know, tire animation where he, like, you know, bends over and is like, oh, I'm tired. And then, uh, it's like right there, just pressed X. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, that was kind of cool. I threw it backwards, but I still hit him. What the heck? What is going on? Where is he going? He like ran all the way around us. <laughs> And then just ran away. That was so weird. Okay. Anyway, let's keep it keep it going. 
But yeah, I mean, if this is the Adamantois, right? That's freaking massive. Like, I, I don't know what you fight. How do you how do you fight that? Okay, so I've noticed that if you want to get the full thrust with the spear, you want to basically press, uh, like, circle back, uh, or, or hold down circle, then hold back, and then when he does that back step, he'll start going into the, the thrust, and if you hold it... What the heck is that? What? Are you hearing this right now? This, like, snoring thing? I just killed the rhino, so it can't be that. Um, weird. Anyway, yeah, so if you if you hold down the circle button, he'll do the thrust. But then I noticed with the, with the Tempest move, that's like a timing thing. Kind of like in DMC, where you have to, like, kind of <clears throat> press the button and then let it go and then, and then press it again. It seems to be how we call it, how we actually does Tempest. I, I don't know uh, if there's Ooh. something else you're supposed to do because I just did it too after that combo. So it's kind of almost like a finisher, but uh, that seems to be how it works. So I don't know. I kind of want to try it out some more. Because then also too, I wonder how you do uh, Dragoon Jump because that is definitely not something that I've seen anyone do. Uh, in this, there is like a little dive bomb move you can. I've seen people do, um, with like the spear and also with the uh, the sword and stuff. But I haven't seen anyone do the actual dragoon jump. So I don't know. It's like we got a key, a key item. What? Let's t check it out, or at least try to. Anyway, I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, well, there it is. So it just gives us. So it's like a bangle. It gives us uh, plus thirty in strength. So we'll we'll put that on. We're also around in magic. It looks like so. Let's make some more magic. Let's use uh thunder this time. There's like 29 of these things. Let's use, use some of these. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not 29 of those. But let's put some frost in there too. This looks pretty good. We'll, we'll put one of those in there. That's, that's, that's not bad. Cool. It's like a tri cast thunder move. Not, not bad. Um, Alright. Oops. That's not what I want to do. I think that's all the chests that at least the map showed us, except for this one up here. Um, I know this is like some kind of Nilf Guardian base. Did I say, did I say Nilf Guardian? Is that even, is that even right? Am I, am I, I'm thinking of Witcher right now. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Witcher. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's up there. Um, but we can't really access that right now. So but let's head back to the car. So if we press. R3. 
Just like that. Pretty handy. But yeah, I know you can get the fire, like the fire great sword, and I believe you can get the uh, the bio blaster, or not bio, like the yeah, no, the the bio blaster in this demo as well. Um, I have no idea where both weapons are. I thought I knew where the fire sword was, but apparently I I didn't know, so <laughs> I I don't, I don't know. Have to wait for me to, 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 to come in first so they can sit down. I'm the prince after all. Makes sense, right? Nice. Alright, so since it's gonna be nighttime soon, we can actually go into that, uh. This goblin hunt right here. Yep. Alright, we'll try and get that in this video. Alright. If I remember correctly, this one is actually kind of far from us, so we should be able to drive there. At least try to, anyway. Hold on, let's see. Yeah. Cool. So this, this will actually take Jumbi us there. Ah, go. Hopefully we can get there in time before it becomes nighttime. Otherwise, I think Ignis will like stop middle. What? Are you? What? What? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, then, you guys. ラフレーダ様が停戦協定についての文字審の声明を発表されました。この度は停戦協定の締結が決まり、大変嬉しく思っています。そして皆さんご存知の通り、私は婚約のお話をいただきました。今後カンナギの務めをどう果たしていくの
this one way over here. Oh. Yeah, basically it's gonna play this like really creepy ominous music until we beat the mob hunt. <laughs> so we can't until it's nighttime, so just kinda how it are you are you good, Ignis? You're like falling over the floor, man. Oh jeez. Excuse me. I'm just gonna work my way in here. Um, so this might seem kind of familiar to you if you have been keeping up with the, uh, with the videos that they've released for 15. Um, this is actually the Mineshaft dungeon that they showed off. I don't remember which conference that was on, which, uh, game, like, which, like, convention that was. But they actually showed off this, uh, this... Yep, I'm gonna talk now, thanks. <laughs> uh, they shut off this entire uh, dungeon, at least parts of it. Problem is, we can't actually do it because, you know, not available in the Judgment Disc demo, so. Plus, we'd be, like, way under-leveled for it, too. Like, everything in there is, like, crazy strong, so. But that's where that is, so that's pretty cool. That's right here in the beginning of the game which means we're gonna be coming back here throughout the game you know so that's kind of all there for you if you were worried about that kind of thing which i'm not sure why you would be i mean it's it's, a, it's an open world game you can go back anywhere wherever you want you know whenever so all right now it's night time though so let's go take on those goblins Be here though. Any second now. Just waiting for it to, I guess, become fully night. It's basically nighttime, but it's still kind of sun out. So, um, with most of these nighttime enemies, the sun basically like kills them. Like just it just when it KOs them entirely. So they won't appear if there's sun out at all. Now there needs to be like a way to. Uh, Accelerate time in this game, kind of like in Witcher, you can kind of meditate and time will go forward. Um, there's no way to really do that, at least not that I know of. Just gotta wait it out, man. Oh, there we go. Oh no. All right, let's go for a tempest since we're all kind of close, close together. Nice. A round of MP there, but uh, cool, we got it. Alright, so this is usually where we'd uh, drive back, but again, because it's nighttime, 
Ignis is probably gonna have a problem with that, <laughs> to be honest. could just run back, but it's too far to run. Nocto, you're not driving a kikenda. Each don't match any modern Ica. Dana, match any modern Yes, match any modern. Okay, I think he asked me if I wanted to drive, and I guess I must have clicked no. So we just went back <laughs> to where to uh, where we were. Which I didn't know. I didn't know you could do that. I, I didn't know it fast traveled you back to where we were. I, I thought I don't know something. I thought something. I guess I don't know. You does say. So we can rest at um, campsites or we can rest at inns. Um, this is stuff most of you guys I'm sure already know, but when you rest at a campsite, you can like make food for yourself, you like get experience, everything, you know, how you've seen it. When you rest at an inn though, it's all the same thing, except you don't make food for yourself, so you don't gain any buffs. Um, however, inn is also not free, you gotta pay to do it. But the trade off is that you gain more experience. You get like an experience multiplier instead of getting the buffs. So if you want to level up faster, rest at an inn. If you want to get buffs for the next day, rest at a campsite. That's basically the trade off there. Yeah, but do it does cost gil though, so. Cool. So they're just there chilling out, playing some Uno or something. <laughs> nah, probably playing some Blackjack. We're 21. That's the same game. Might be the same. I don't know, but that's it, guys, for this episode of Judgment Disc. Um, leave a like if you like this video, or dislike, I guess, if you don't like me. Or this, or my content, whatever. <laughs> um, subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to see more, though, um, we're gonna finish this out. Hopefully, in the next episode or two. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, like I've been saying before, when the game does come out on Tuesday, we'll be having a full playthrough. So look, look out for that. And subscribe if you want to see that when that comes out, so you get notified. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm super hyped for this game. I can't wait. Hopefully, you guys are as excited as I am. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay tuned.